Oh shit. Today's hottest music. Hot 107.9. When you think of go-kart racing, That's what sounds come shit. to mind? I can't drive. Look at... I'm on curbs all day. I'm surprising my mom at her house. She's probably back here doing something. Madre? Yeah. Open, open up, senorita. Hey, man. What are you doing? I'm recording. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm so mad. Because yeah. I can't even record this video. What's the matter? Oh my god, mom, that's dope. He that's what he wanted. So Isn't that off uh, the loteria? Yeah, and I just expanded it and made it bigger. <laughs> Classic. Mom, no <laughs> so I'm just trying to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he surprised me and told me not to get that game because he said that he gave me exactly what he wanted. That's dope. What's this one say? Puka, Puka Monda, Puka Monga. Have you seen his backyard? Huh? Have you seen his backyard? Yeah, have you? No. Is this for the is this for the kids to sit? Yep. That's cool. And me and Aaliyah were talking, we're gonna make a big crossword. Ooh, that sounds fun. And I got to call her talk. Shout out to Jorge for getting it done. Look at my little chunkies, we never just babies. My parents are goals, y'all. My mom's house is like the most beautiful house. She can decorate so cute. Like she painted this and painted that gold. God, she's so beautiful. Look at that smile, mom. My great grandma and my grandma. Little hills out here. Look at that little baby. Yo, Hillary, your teeth used to be. What the fudge? What are those? My favorite is my mom's kitchen. Look at that. Daddy, let me get this chicken nugget. He just the cutest. Look at the abuelita. I just took a tour of your house. Uh -huh. So if you start missing stuff, no, I'm just kidding. You look good. I love it. I gotta get on the inside of the house. I've been too busy. I was like last night we went Well it's summer, so just think about the outside before like um we went to work last night so we weren't even home. We went to uh work in um Ashley Indi I mean Hamilton Indian. Are you filming this? No. Girl, don't film me right now. Why? Because I look rough like an athlete. Mom, do you not see what I look like right now? This <sighs> I don't have any like patience in a car. Especially when people are dumb. Anywho. Like, I had conversations with people to say that, like, they're like, girl, I ain't got no friends. Girl, I feel you. Like, you can only give yourself to so many people. I mean, high school, you have that time to, you know, have friendships and have time to go hang out. But it's like, when I hang out with you, it, it's, it's going to be everything I can give you. There's only so much of me I can give to, you know, to you. Probably two of my best friends, they get mad at me because I hardly, like, get back to them or hardly talk to them on a daily basis. And, you know, 
my schedule is work, coming home. I have to cook, I have to clean, I have to keep up with myself, make sure my health and my emotional health is okay. There was a minute where I was giving everybody the attention that they wanted, but I was sick. When I mean sick, I was depressed. I wasn't taking care of myself. I gained weight just because I didn't have enough time to work towards myself and do what I want to do. So the people that do know me know I do love them from afar. What are you doing, bro? Damn. I don't know. I just wanted to chat a little bit when, with that being said. And also, like, with family. It's really hard keeping up with, like, your cousins and your uncles and your... I know this sounds really wrong, but grandparents, is it's, it's just a lot when you're just overwhelmed with life. Sometimes those priorities, like, get out of your head when you know you need to go and see them because you never talk to them or you never see them because they're not going to be there forever, you know? It's kind of sad. I just talked to a guest the other day that I had um, at, at work, and she was telling me, you know, we're here celebrating my 65th birthday. Um, we're from out of town. I said, where are you from? They said, Massachusetts. I'm like, wow, you came all the way to Indiana just to, you know, celebrate. And they're all like, no, we only come once a year because his, their dad lived here. They're moving their father out of his condo into a nursing home. And, I, and that just hit me like, They've been married since they were in college. They met at IU and they've been together ever since. And and it was just a like, they went through that whole life together and now they're moving their only parent that's alive into a nursing home. It's, it's so sad, but it's so beautiful too because, ooh, it's so beautiful too because, you know, they've, they've grew together and that's what marriage is about supporting each other my whole street is blocked cool dude for what reason did you just do that one one you want lunch all right he said yes let me go get him some lunch like the hardest exit to go towards. Oh, oh, come on, let me out. All right, don't. All right, thank you, appreciate you. Always put your hand out to show respect for the people that look out for you. Thank you, appreciate you. There's a freaking train that stopped pretty much in front of everywhere and I'm trying to find a way to get I think this is the way I'm gonna show you in a minute that there's a train literally stopped in the middle of already two roads all right this is probably three because I see the train still no no got him is this a dead end what the fuck? I thought, damn. I'm stressed. Bro, don't come over here. Don't come over here, it's a dead end. Should I tell him? Should I tell him, y'all? Turn around, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. I'm probably not like way too old. I'm 23. No, 24. I'm 24. Gonna turn 25 this year. And I'm like, do you remember when there was no texting? Like it was all calling and or seeing each other face to face, hanging out with each other. Like remind yourself the last time you were on the phone for hours with your partner or with your friend. I remember my phone used to go dead because me and my sisters used to be on it all the time. I remember in the middle of the night, 
my my dad my dad could hear the truck like the phone going dead because it was go did it did he like Hillary get off the fucking phone I was a wild kid all right all right I found an outlet and now I am off to Chick-fil-a for real this time so I mean I'm not a relationship professional but what can I tell you about how I gained such an amazing relationship? I mean, we're not the best, but let me give you a tip. So what I would do is I would show Juan my cooking skills. So he works at a restaurant, right? So I'd pull up with some flautas, with chile verde, and I'd be like, here's your dinner, babe. Here's your lunch, honey. Oops, excuse me. Sorry. Anyways, and that's how I got him to, uh, to ask me to be his girlfriend because he knew I was wifey type and he always tells me and I just got on a fucking curb he always tells me you remind me of my mom you cook like my mom hello Hi, you um hey you remember me right what's your, what's your name? You can't tell me your name. Hillary yeah, I mean it's Eladia wait you worked at Taco Bell no you work at? no we went to school together that's so bad and I don't know Either way, but... What do you want me to put as your name? Um, Hillary. Hillary. Yep. What can I get for you? Um, can I get a spicy chicken sandwich? I remember you. I remembered you right when I saw you. Oh, well, thank you. You want the meal or just the sandwich? Um, just, um, let me get the meal. Of course. Okay, Actually, let me get two of those meals. Okay. So, tell me what you think about this. Okay, me and my boyfriend check girls out, like, together sometimes. So, if we see girls with big butts, we're all like, yo, look at her butt. And then he'd be like, where? Don't look at the same time I'm looking, but it's gonna be to your right, blue shirt, white pants. White pants are life. If you have a good butt, wear white pants, girl. When it's me judging a guy, I feel like it's different. Like, I probably did that a handful of times, but I usually don't. Oh my God. Hell yeah. always eating they'd be like oh we made breakfast cool where it at though or everybody come try our feature um we got this this and this i'm like all right first one with the fucking spoon How's it going on your car? Really? Mm -hmm. Like, you. if you need waters, here's this. It's not open. Why? Because it's a holiday. They don't open. What's the holiday? I don't know. How the fuck can I go ask them? I'm <laughs> Indian. Oh, an Indian holiday? The fuck? Thank you. You're welcome. Unicorn. Can I possibly have a kiss? I guess. <laughs> Get over here! Oh my god. I love you. I love you. Where'd you get that shirt? I've been having this. I wore this to your daughter's birthday present. I mean, party. You're welcome! Getting no appreciation out here. Fuck it. I'm taking it. 